Hello everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in for another one of my soap making video. This is Helen from Smoke Moonlit Soap Work. Um, today I am actually really tempted to do a spin swirl soap. Um, I have attempted before and I failed. So let's try it again today. Um, I have my nine bar bamboo berries uh, silicone liner, and I have a divider that I'm gonna put in later on. And I haven't had a chance to put get myself a um, the the mold the wooden mold holder yet. So it's currently still in this box as you can see before. And this is a um, turntable. I'm thinking maybe it will be easier to do the spinning with a turntable, but it might not work. So we'll see. And uh, it's gonna be a big batch, so it's, I'm gonna do one half of this and the other half in the regular loaf mode, like not like I normally do. And I already have the um, lye and water solution here, and um, and then here's the warm oil, and this is a mixture of the fragrance. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into this one, just to warm them up a bit. Um, this is a this this is a mixture of um, energy from bamboo berry, which is one of the best ones to do any kind of special you know swirl spinning with because it we behaves so well and it does not accelerate trays or anything. So I love that one, but I don't have enough energy, so it's only half energy in this one, and uh, in um, the rest of it is a um, little bit of strawberry and a little bit of white nectarine. So it's going to be a little fruity soap. And then the color today we're doing a kind of an interesting combination of kind of fruity color. We have the, the my green, my uh, sea green from the Neutral Soap Surprise. Always love this one, my staple. And uh, also from Neutral, this is the, their Vibrant Yellow. And also from neutral, this is their vibrant orange, which is very, very pretty color. And then here's some activated charcoal. I want to do a little bit of black for some contact. And also going to put in some titanium dioxide uh, for the white to make the base whiter. Okay, so let's make some soap. out of that it's just the yellow and the white is just too close in color to do anything Let's see if this is gonna work. Oops. Oops. Gotta move stuff out of the way. Yes. 
see how much is it gonna spin. It's spinning quite. How am I supposed to keep spinning, right? like a river so it's not too bad but I think I need it to be a little bit more runny than this it's moving a bit but and because it's gonna it's starting to get muddy on that side so I think this is where it's gonna end so there you have it. This is the spin soap. Look kind of interesting, I have to say. Um, I'm gonna come in with the skillet and just sort of bring the edge of it down. So it just didn't look so messy. Okay, let's go from there. I'm gonna put the divider. Either in okay let's see last time I tried to use a divider it didn't give me a very nice square soap okay here we go. Dividers in. The dividers are a little crooked for some reason. Okay, here we go. And uh, stay tuned for the unmolding on this one. I, there's no cutting involved on this one. So let's do the other one too. thinking maybe if I go in with a oh not with a spoon actually let's go in with one of the back of the the spoon right here and just sort of do a quick mix interesting color Here's the top of the soap. I just finished putting some glitter on and um, it's very pretty. And so there you go. That's the two soap I did today. Let me point the other one over. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, here's today's tonight's soap. This is the spin top in a slap mold, and this is the uh, West of the Soap in a loaf mold. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, please click the thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe to any of my future video, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, please stay tuned for the cutting video. Thank you for watching.